I'm the tribal chief. I'm the head of the table. And I'm the face of the WWE. For the past 1200 days as the champion, WWE has been dominated by Roman Reigns. Match after match, feud after feud, he has shown why the WWE chose him as the face years ago despite the audience initially rejecting the idea. Roman Reigns' stranglehold on the WWE Undisputed Universal title is surely set to continue till WrestleMania 40. Whether he drops the title at WrestleMania or not, that's a completely different topic of discussion. But who should he face in the first place? Let's understand the situation. We are headed to the first premium live event of the year in 2024, Royal Rumble. It's the beginning of the road to WrestleMania. WWE has got 3 to 4 months to build a credible opponent for Roman Reigns and they have enough time to invest in an engaging story. So who can Roman Reigns face at WrestleMania? I'm gonna give you 5 seconds to guess who I'm thinking about. The easiest answer here would be Cody Rhodes. If your answer is Cody Rhodes, you're not wrong. But in my opinion, that would be a bad call. Why? Let me explain. I am a very big fan of Cody Rhodes. He should finish his story. His story of becoming a world champion. A Rhodes becoming a WWE world champion. But not in 2024. This is not his year, unfortunately. You see, after Roman Reigns beat him at WrestleMania 39, Cody Rhodes was nowhere close to feuding with the Bloodline. He didn't mention them, nor did the Bloodline mention him. There have been one-off interactions here and there, so it's fair to say that Roman Reigns vs Cody Rhodes is not complete. They will surely get back to that story. So you may ask, why not complete that story at WrestleMania 40? for the simple reason that WWE has not invested enough time in building Roman Reigns vs Cody Rhodes Part 2. Part 1 was all about Cody Rhodes. We got to know why Cody Rhodes wants to get hands on that title. And Part 2 should be a big match. It should be a big build like how we saw with The Rock vs John Cena. It was a year long build. It should be something similar to that. And yes, for the longest time, I have been of the opinion that Cody Rhodes is the man to face Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 40 and dethrone him. But the return of this man just changed everything. And if you are thinking CM Punk, then please get back to your senses because there is absolutely no way WWE is gonna book Roman Reigns vs CM Punk now this close to WrestleMania. Guys, WrestleMania is just 4 months away. And if it was Vince McMahon running the ship, then 100% that's the first thing he would have done. But WWE has changed. They invest in stories. Star powers don't give us good matches. Stories do. Whose return am I talking about? The return of Randy Orton just changes things. Uh, mommy this, mommy that. Well, guess what, Rhea? Daddy's back. Randy Orton is perhaps the perfect opponent for Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. Randy Orton has had history with the Bloodline. It was the Bloodline who took him out 18 months ago. And he lost the Raw Tag Team titles to the Bloodline which meant that the Usos became the undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions. So of course he is out for revenge. The Viper is hunting for its prey. Nick Aldis was successful in signing Randy Orton to an exclusive SmackDown only deal. So how did Randy Orton repay Nick Aldis? This is building to something here. WWE may even plan Randy Orton vs Roman Reigns at the Royal Rumble. But I feel Randy Orton vs Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 40 makes much more sense. And right now, if WWE wants to strike the iron when it's hot, put Randy Orton and Roman Reigns as the WrestleMania main event. Build some tension with Cody Rhodes as well, which can lead to some matches between them. It's such an interesting situation and let's see what WWE does with the undisputed Universal title. And speaking of unique situation, WWE might be in an even interesting situation with the World Heavyweight title which is held by Seth Rollins. I will make a video on that in the next one.